Thank you, Chairman, and thanks, Mr. Secretary, for uh, being with us. Um, I've got three topics I'm going to try to cover super fast. Um, first, uh, along the lines of what Ms. Pingree was asking about, I had a bunch of town halls last week in my district. The issue of offshore drilling came up a bunch. Um, I know you testified in front of Senator Cantwell's committee, and you're keenly aware of the uh, broad opposition to Washington State's inclusion in the plan. Um, you know, obviously, we've got uh, fisheries and shellfish growing and marine tourism and shipping, um, all of which are really fundamental to our economy and are largely incompatible with oil and gas development. Um, we have a letter uh, that's actually both bicameral and bipartisan outlining uh, the concerns from our region. I've got a copy of it, and with the chairs and ranking members' permission, I'd love to submit it for the record. Um, uh, I know that you told Senator Cantwell you were going to mark Washington State down as opposed to drilling. So I'm hoping I can ask you today if you're prepared to announce that you'll withdraw our state from consideration uh, as you've done with Florida. And if not, given the near universal opposition uh, to drilling off Washington's coast, what's, what's preventing the department from making that uh, determination? And has anybody expressed an interest in drilling off of our coast? And if you can share that too, I'd be... Yeah. Uh, putting everything on, and if I would have left Florida off in the beginning, it would have been arbitrary and capricious. But again, this is a plan and, and not a rule. Uh, so everyone's in the process. Uh, Washington. There was no little or no resources of oil and gas off the coast of Oregon or Washington. Uh, there is no infrastructure uh, to support an oil and gas industry uh, off the coast of Oregon or Washington. And there is, I would say, passionate uh, opposition to do so. Uh, in the case of Washington with the coal uh, terminals, uh, Washington itself has an enormous leverage as a state. And I've talked to your governor uh, on it, but because Washington has the first, I think, three or four miles are, is state waters, uh, Washington can then restrict uh, the federal's activity uh, when it Come, you know, we have to, if, if, you were, if you were to drill off the coast of Washington, and if there were resources, uh, which as a geologist, I haven't seen any interest or resources there, uh, you'd somehow have to, have to bring it to shore. Well, this, you'd, you'd have to go through the state waters. Uh, similarly to with the, uh, Massachusetts, uh, did not uh, or strenuously objected to a wind farm that was, that was pretty close to the coastline. What they did is they revoked the ability for that wind farm's energy to get to shore through state waters. Yeah. So I'm, uh, yeah, and, and they, we will continue with the process. Uh, I, 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 our, our st team went out there. I've talked to your governor. I've talked to, I think, almost every congressional member, uh, including your, your two senators. So I think I have a pretty good idea where, where, where Washington sits. 